Hey, welcome back to the show. For a while now, the Boss Katana has been out and it's really affordable. There's loads of different tones. We've covered how to try and get the most out of it on the show. And recently, Boss have bought out the Katana Go, which is essentially a full-size Katana just condensed into a little practice pocket unit that plugs into your guitar and you have your headphones going into it. It talks with your phone just so you can play MP3s on your phone as well as just having your, all your sounds from your Boss Katana. And in theory, I think if it can do all those things and it's easy to use and sounds great, then it's going to be a fantastic product. But stick around, we'll test it out. So it's really small and compact. It's got the flip out jack just to work with your guitar in any different way. So as far as features go with it on the actual unit, you've got the Bluetooth button here just so you can connect it to your phone. You've got to be connected via MIDI as well as audio. So two different Bluetooth connections there. You've got the stage fill button, which is meant to simulate just like live stage and live use. But to me, all it does is just change the actual reverb effect through the unit. It doesn't do like the Waza Air headphones where there's an amp fill in the room and like a gyro and as you move your head, there's none of that. It's just a different ambience that's connected. And then on the back of the unit, you've got the headphone jack as well as the USB port for charging. That USB port also works if you've got it plugged into your computer. This can turn into a whole guitar interface, work with your door, record the sounds that are on it. I'll be doing that today just for this recording. So what you hear is what you get. And then on the other side of the unit, you've just got all your cycling just to go through all your different presets. This can hold up to 30 presets that I can see. So you've got your A, B and C in one bank and then you can just skip to the next bank, A, B, C, three, A, B, C, so forth up to nine or 10. And so there's a whole lot of presets that you can store into this unit. And then for the digital display on the front, it's just a quick reference. It just cycles through a few things. If you press the Bluetooth button, it comes up to what's actually connected to your phone. So in this case, I've got the audio component connected, but I haven't got the MIDI connected to it as we're just not cycling through the presets on the phone. On this side, if we actually hold the cycling button in, it brings up a guitar tuner, which is cool. It also brings up the tuner on the phone that you've seen. And then you've just got your various presets you can cycle through and it just shows you what they are. I'm sure there's all other features, but for me, that's about all I need it for. But the main thing, let's just see how it sounds, I guess. I'll just quickly run through some presets that I've made up for this week. And all the presets that I use in this video today, they'll be in a playlist of Katana Go. You can actually download those onto your phone and then access them via the app. It's a little bit disjointed at the moment. I'll try and have a, like a description for that in the description. But uh, the first preset is me just trying to capture my 5150 on the blue channel and just get a really raw sort of tone coming out that sounds very much real, just like the amp. It's not the exact same preset we used for the Katana video that day. As for those videos and using the Katana, I'm using the Two Nose Torpedo Captor X just to give you a really good cab sim, just to get a clean signal back to the audio interface for a good cabinet simulation. But for this, we're using the inbuilt cab sims that comes with the Katana Go. It would be really nice if they offered like your own IR just to load, just to really get the sound that you want. You are limited just with the boss cab sims that are in there. They're not bad, but I don't think they're really good either. But uh, onto the next tone, the Rust in Peace rhythm tone. And this is pretty much my go-to rhythm tone that I look for in each device. It's probably the album that I play most just to practice and see how it sounds. <laughs> Pretty much every feature that's within your Boss Katana you can access through the phone app. 
it's fairly well integrated. You can sort of navigate it and work your way around it. It's not as easy as a desktop, they never are, but it's actually really good and really easy just to get around. And it's got some great features and the tune is really good. It plays along with your phone with the audio when you're actually wanting to listen to songs. You don't actually have to import them into the app just to listen to. You can just play along with your iTunes library. But keep in mind, once the battery in the unit gets down to about 50%, it no longer picks up the Bluetooth audio from your phone, so you can't keep playing along with the audio tracks or the MP3s. You still get the Katana tone coming into your headphones. You just lose that audio coming from the MP3s. The next preset is a Rust in Peace guitar solo tone. <laughs> And then onto the next preset, we just go to the next bank. I've got a Testament guitar tone. This is really first done off the formation of Damnation. I think it's a really cool 5150 style tone. There's a little bit of ambience. It's just, it's just a cool sort of thrash tone for us. <laughs> It's an over the top sort of thrash tone with loads of ambience, but for the next one we've got uh, Rain in Blood by Slayer, and this is trying to just get that sort of martial thrash sort of tone. A little bit of reverb on the tail. I'm in the wrong key here, I'm not E flat, but you'll get the idea. <laughs> And next for presets, we've got a Megadeth guitar tone, and this is more recent. This is from like Countdown, Extinction, and onwards, but... <laughs> And again, I'm fairly happy with that tone. It's just a really sort of generic, cool practice tone. It seems to be fairly balanced where it needs to be. I'm not really looking for these recording studio tones coming out of it. I just want to be able to keep my chops up, practice the songs that I need for each week. And so far, it's just been doing a really good job and I'm really happy with it. But And next off, we've got Master of Puppets. I haven't really worked on the Metallica presets too hard. What I've found is they're really difficult to dial in, especially using the inbuilt cab simulation or the IR that's in it. I'd love to be able to load your own IRs and just create your own sort of tones and really just nail things, but for this, it's just is what it is. <laughs> The hardest thing I find trying to dial Metallica tones on the Boss Katanas is the bottom end. It's either really sort of loose and flubby, and if you turn that out or try and dial that out of it, you just end up with a tone that's a little bit thin. It's, it's hard to have the tone have solid weight without that sort of unnatural bottom end to it. But next we've got a Metallica clean style tone. <laughs> And lastly, we've got an attempt for the Justice for All rhythm tone. And uh, just see how that goes. Mm -hmm. 
And I think you get the idea. I think it's just a really convenient way to practice and it's a fantastic solution for me. I'm glad I bought it. I think it's a great purchase, but uh, the sounds might not be for everyone, but either way, this is my honest thoughts on the Boss Katana Go. And uh, as I said, the links for all those presets that I played through will be in the description. You can get them onto your phone. I managed to get all the presets that I was using with the Katana, the usual Katana. Uh, from the cloud, I just downloaded them onto my phone into files, then uh, recalled them within the app. It seemed to work all fine. Everything's worked as it should so far, and I'm pretty happy. But uh, until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>